Section 8 Cheddar. Carry from Nashville. This is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise. Currently during the coronavirus pandemic, I am coming to you from my home office. Uh, but not to worry, y'all, field staff, they are still working out there in the field. We are still able to put properties under contract, open escrow, close escrow, do renovations, do maintenance calls, do the whole shebang. Just a lot of the field and sales staff not the field staff, I'm sorry, a lot of the, the sales and media staff are working off-site as they don't need to be in the office locations, uh, but our essential field staff is very much in the field. And uh, I'm working with my dude, Carrie, man. Carrie, you came to me as a referral from another friend who already invests with us. You and I, we went over a couple properties in your last video, and uh, you were ready for another video. You know, you're looking to leverage your funds. Uh, you like three bed, two bath homes and you want single families because you found a banger, uh, a banger deal with your lender, the first four mortgages you get, now the first one, gonna be uh, taken care of by you know, your personal home residence, I believe, because uh, if anybody out there who's watching this uh, is curious to note, the first mortgage you ever get should always, always, always be your home mortgage, the place you live, dude. You need a roof over your head. And when you have a roof over your head, you're going to pay off a mortgage. Please, guys, make the mortgage you're paying off be your mortgage, not your landlord's mortgage. So assuming you've taken care of that, Carrie, that leaves you three mortgages before you get to the limit of four that your lender will allow you to buy single family homes with less than 25% down. You only need to put down 20%. So we're going to go over two single family homes for you today, brother. Now, uh, you sent me one that you really liked in the Cleveland market. We're going to go over that. But before we do, I want to go over the one that I have found for you that I think you might like even more. Now, that doesn't mean you shouldn't buy the other one. I just think they're both going to be solid deals. And if we can do what I want to do on this first one, I think it'll work out even better. 1727 Hamilton Avenue, Lorraine, Ohio, 44052. This has been listed for almost a year for $68,250, dude. Why has this property been listed for almost a year without any movement? Because they listed it for way too much money, dude. They uh, originally listed it for $75,000. They have reduced it down now to $68,250. What I've done for you here is I've pulled up the comps, bro. Now, these are quarter mile comps. Whenever you're running comps in, in um, an urban area, like a highly populated area, you always want to run your comps uh, within a quarter mile radius of your home. And you also want to uh, do the last six months. If you don't have enough data, sometimes you got to bust that out to a year, but we got a decent chunk of data here, right? We got six homes on the high end, 55K on the low end, a totally jacked up house for 12,900. All right. So with that in mind, $75,000 is too much money. The seller made, you know, the, the number one mortal sin, dude. They went to the market and they tried to get too much money. They got too greedy, guys. A lot of sellers seem to think that uh, you could list the property for higher because people are going to offer you, you know, lower prices. Um, look, man, you list the property too high. What happens is everyone thinks it's overpriced. It gets on the market for a long time. It gets stale and then people think there's an issue. And there's no issues with this home, dude. This is a banging home, man. First of all, before I even get to the photos, let's read what the listing agent said. Great investment opportunity, fully, remodel, uh, fully remodeled and rented for $9.50 a month. Section 8 approved, just minutes off Lake Erie in a quiet, older neighborhood. This home has too many updates to list fully. New roof, windows, and hot water tank. All new plumbing, new full bathroom, and new kitchen with appliances, all new carpeting and flooring throughout, along with new front and back decks. Home is being sold with a clear slash clean point of sale. By the way, 
Uh, Carrie, I believe you know you watch all the content on Holton Wise TV, but a lot of other folks out there, they may be new to Holton Wise TV. So in the show notes, I have uh, a video that explains what the point of sale process is. Very important that you watch that because uh, there's a lot of municipalities in the Cleveland market that uh, deal with the point of sale. So check that out in the show notes. Uh, back to the what the agent said, this home also includes a large upstairs living area slash family room and a fenced backyard. This is a must-see, 24-hour notice is required. Please do not disturb the tenant. Now, cruising through these photos, man, uh, the photos were taken prior to them moving the tenant in, of course. Uh, you know, they just they, they, they fully rehab it, dude. It's a full full-on turnkey house, right? So they got a, a great amount of rent coming in, right? $950 a month comes in, $11,400 a year. Their rehab looks great. They took care of the big ticket items and they made it cosmetically beautiful, which is why they got that nice solid rent, man, that section eight rent. That's what we want. The particular neighborhood, it's, um, it's, it's, it's like uh, similar to the Cleveland neighborhood of the property we're going to do after, after this one. It's, you know, a low C, high D type neighborhood, dude. There's, there's blight in this neighborhood. There's, there's risk involved in this neighborhood, which is why the Section 8 program is the move. Man, you've got to go Section 8 neighborhoods like this, right? You know, cash paying tenants in these higher risk neighborhoods, dude, they're an issue because, you know, they're one issue away from uh, not having their rent money, right? You know, a lot of them are out of work right now because we got the goddamn coronavirus going on, right? So Section 8, more, more now at this day, as I talk to you right now, is super important, especially with a neighborhood like this. So, you know, this, this seller, they went in and they did everything you need to do to get that Section 8 cheddar, which is exactly what you want. So mission accomplished, man. Rehab, great. Everything, great. Where they screwed the pooch is they tried to get too much money, dude. They tried to get greedy, right? You saw the cops. It makes no goddamn sense for you to go in and buy this property for $75,000 in this neighborhood, right? Our highest comp is 55K. So with that being said, with the fact that this is already mission accomplished, they've already positioned this where it needs to be, I think the right price that we can get uh, is $50,000, right? Do I think it's going to be like pulling teeth, getting them to come down that low? Probably, but I would assume they're, they're hoping to sell. It looks like they renovated this with the intent to sell. And they've probably now come to the realization that uh, they're not going to get their original price. And they tried selling this before the coronavirus pandemic hit, right? They had this whole plan in place, you know, long before coronavirus uh, was on their, their radar. So now with coronavirus, you know, we got some investors who are trying to just get out of the market, trying not to deal with stuff. So now I think it's our our best shot for us to come in and pick this up for a good price, right? So the 50K, I think at 50K, it makes a hell of a lot of sense, man. 50K, beautiful turnkey home. You bring in 950 a month on that government guaranteed section eight program. Love it. You know, as far as our expenses, you know, repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and non-payment, CapEx, taxes, insurance, water, sewer, lawn care, PM. You know the drill, Carrie. You've been watching a lot of content on Holton Wise TV. You know that these expenses are an estimate. They are an estimate based upon a large, having a large portfolio. This is an average of what you can see for typical performance over the long term. So every single month will not exactly look like this. Some of these expenses are fixed. Some are variable. One of the fixed expenses, of course, is going to be your insurance, right? That one's pretty simple. You get one insurance uh, bill and it's going to pretty much remain the same. Speaking of that, folks, we have an insurance company here at Holton Wise. We own a farmer's business. We're also appointed with various other insurance companies. And all we do, all we do, guys, we handle the rental property insurance. So in the show notes below, I want you guys to click that link. Let's lower your insurance. It doesn't have to be just for properties here in Cleveland. We are appointed with insurance providers coast to coast. So anybody out there who's watching this, if you are feeling the pinch of coronavirus and you're trying to make some more money and you're one of those investors who's not trying to buy new properties right now, the do yourself a favor to leave, you know, the at the very least, guys, try to keep some more of your current income in your pocket and let us lower your insurance premium. So that's in the show notes below. But all things told, Carrie, 950 comes in on average, 466 goes out, dude. You should still pull 484 a month out of the sucker as far as your NOI. Now we purchased this at 50K like I want to do, dude. That's an 11.6 cap. 
And because you got that banger loan, man, you got that awesome loan, 20% down. You don't even need to put in $10,000, dude, to get yourself this full turnkey property for only $10,000. Teeny little mortgage after you pay off your mortgage, you should have, you should be clear at 316 bucks a month on average, dude. That's a 38% cash on cash return. One uh, important thing to note, which is going to be a little different about this property than a lot of the other properties you see and the, and the property that you and I are about to be talking to. I want you to go to the Holton Wise uh, FAC, the property management FAC, okay? I want you to review our contract. One thing to note, this is Lorraine. This is outside of Cuyahoga County, Cleveland, guys. Cleveland, uh, you know, that's, the, set, that's the, the main city, the main hub. That's what you're here for. The city of Cleveland is in the county called Cuyahoga County. Now, Holton Wise, we handle management all throughout Cuyahoga County, and we also handle management for every county that touches Cuyahoga County. So those counties, you got Lorraine, Summit, uh, Erie, uh, Lake, et cetera. We will manage in those counties as well. Any county that is outside of Cuyahoga County, though, there's a little bit of surcharges because the properties are further away from the Holton Wise office. We are headquartered uh, in Parma, Ohio, which is, is bordering Cleveland. So we're right there in Cleveland. So if you're in a county that's outside of Cuyahoga, one of the bordering counties, we do charge you surcharges when we have to send people out to the property. Just a little bit of surcharge. Check our property management agreement to see what the rates are. You know, there is no additional property management fees every month or anything like that. Uh, we could still do all the same level of service. Just anytime we need to have somebody physically drive to your property, there is going to be a surcharge because, you know, we are having a ton of additional drive time. So check that out. But it's, it's very minute and shouldn't affect your return all that much. Shouldn't really be something, uh, you know, very noticeable. But I want to make sure you are aware of it because that's what we're all about here, man. We are all about transparency. So I think this one works for you, man. I think this is great. Let us know if you want to put an offer on this. What I want to do right now is go to a word from the sponsors of today's show. Then I want to get into the single family that you sent to me. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Beal, author of the Short Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third party home inspection, new HVAC with 10 year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price to rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Gary, man, welcome back. Without further ado, let's get into the property that I know you are probably chomping at the bit to get my take on to do some deep dive on the due diligence here. 2060 West 103rd, Cleveland, Ohio, 44102. This is priced at 74900 As you noticed, it was recently dropped down from the original price, which was 79900 this is another situation where the seller, in my opinion, I think they overpriced their listing, dude. That's a cardinal sin, man. Uh, the agent, uh, Keller Williams agent, we're not going to blame the agent for uh, listening to too high, which by the way, I got a gripe right now, man. We got to talk about this, folks. I, I see on the internet and I, I see people complaining all the time. Like, you know, you, you see like disgruntled sellers, they go on the internet and they bitch and they whine and they moan. Like I listed a property with an agent and he listed the price too high and it sat and it never sold. Wah, 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 wah. Man, fuck you. All right, fuck you if you've ever gone on the internet and said something like that. Fuck you if you thought that. 
fuck you if you thought that anybody that said that wasn't a fucking asshole. Let me explain something to you guys. There is no scenario in this business where the seller is the one who wants to list the property really low and the realtor is like, no, 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 let's push the price higher. Let's push the price higher. That's not how this works, man. Typically in these situations, the listing agent wants to list it for lower because they need the property to sell. They don't care about an extra 3% commission on an extra 10K. They don't care about that, right? They just need to get it to sell. It is always, always the seller who is the one that is pushing for the higher price, not listening to their listing agent. So, you know, anytime you guys see these sellers out there that they're just griping that their agent listed that property for too high, no, dude, call bullshit on them because I guarantee it 999 times out of a thousand, they are the one who pushed for the higher price, right? And the agent just kind of got bullied into going along with it because they wanted the listing and maybe they're you know, hoping the seller would, you know, come to their senses if it didn't move. I don't know. But I just, I wanted to make sure I got that gripe off, off my chest, man, because I, I see people complaining about that and just, you know, dogging their agents. And that, and that's just BS, man, because it it's not, it's never the agents who are, are pushing for the higher price. But, you know, that little mini rant, notwithstanding, the, the, the price is still too high, okay? This particular property, Carrie, I want you to pick this up at $60,000. Now, they did a pretty good job renovating this sucker. First, before we get to the photos, let me read what they said. This three-bedroom, one-bathroom home is too good to pass up. The whole house has been freshly painted. Newly updated kitchen is a must-see. This home would be a perfect starter home or investment home. The backyard is ready for you to make. Make it what you want. New asphalt driveway being installed. That is key when we see the photos later. Dude, you're going to see that driveway was smoked. Uh, schedule a virtual or in-person tour while you can. This home won't last. Now, uh, one thing I want to talk about, right? They said this three-bedroom, one-bathroom home. Well, they've also, if we scroll up here, as you can see, they also wrote that it was three-bedroom with one-and-a-half baths. So I believe there's two baths in this particular property, uh, but we have conflicting data. So it might be a three-two, it might be a three-one. Uh, not 100% sure. As we scroll through the photos, I think they did a pretty good job, which, by the way, some of these photos that they, they put up, um, they're very low-quality photos. So some of the photos are probably going to appear pretty pixelated on your screen. Don't shoot the messenger. They're not my photos. They're the photos of the listing agent. And in said photos, they only show the one full bath. So uh, I am not 100% sure if there is or is not that half bath. It's probably in the basement if it is there. Um, so this might be a 3-2, which I know you love 3-2s, man, but it also might be a 3-1. Uh, regardless, uh, as far as rent goes, you know, we're going to target Section 8, definitely Section 8 neighborhood, uh, 1000 bucks a month. So 1000 bucks a month or 12000 a year, you know, normal, you know, things, right? Of the 1000 that comes in, you know, 485 is going to go out the door. Hopefully they uh, get us that brand new driveway because as you can see from the photos, driveway is never really that big of a deal in Cleveland itself because there's no point of sale. But dude, this one is just torn to pieces. Uh, one other thing, right? It's, it's, it's pretty much rent ready. I don't anticipate there being anything major. Of course, we'll find out if there's any latent issues I'm not addressing when we do the inspection. And then when my team, after closing, when they go out and they do the uh, rent ready inspection, you know, they're looking for things like do all the windows open and stay open without a stick having to be in there. Do we have smoke detectors in every single room, all the appropriate places, are there batteries, et cetera. So there may be a few bucks that need to get spent, either stuff that my guys, you know, pick out or that the home inspector picks out. But one other thing, I didn't account for this uh, in your return chart, because you don't have to do it if you don't want to. Uh, but there is no garage here. All right. Now, not a big deal. But if you'd like to avoid paying lawn care, right, as you see, we got a nice zero here on the lawn care line item. Now, when you do single family homes, so long as you provide the tenant with the ability to store a lawn, uh, their lawn equipment, a lawnmower, right? You need to give them a garage or a shed. Now, if you wanted to build a garage, since we're going to have a brand new pad, brand new driveway or whatever, uh, you know, I don't know if they're going to replace that garage pad. If they did, it's not going to be that much. You could probably build a garage for like 14, 15, maybe 16K. But I don't even want you to do that. What I would recommend is just getting like a shed 
less than a thousand bucks, we can get a shed in there and uh, just let the tenants store their lawnmower there. So I think the shed's going to be the way to go. And then you don't have to pay for your lawn care. If you don't want to go that route, you're going to have to pay for lawn care and it's going to run you five twenty eight a year. So, you know, you got a two year payback if you get a shed. So I think getting the shed is the smart move. Um, so assuming you got the shed, we should be bringing home five fifteen a month. If we pick it up at the price that I like it, sixty thousand dollars is ten point three cap. With your twenty percent down loan, you only need to put down twelve thousand dollars. Mortgage should be forty eight thousand, and this is going to be another huge earner for you, man. This should be a twenty eight percent cash on cash return. So the first property thirty eight percent is what we're projecting. This one we're projecting twenty eight percent. So both of these are solid deals. These will be uh, some some great notches in the in the belt here, man. These will be uh, two solid deals for you. So uh, you'll just want to reply to this email. You know, you know this email. We sent this to you in a private link. Everybody else who's watching Carrie's video, you are watching it behind, or you are watching it uh, after the dust settles, right? You're watching it well beyond when he's seen it. He probably seen it two three months ago. You guys need to know that I don't release these videos on Holton Wise TV for public consumption until after the deals are gone. So uh, you guys can learn off of other people's deals, but uh, you definitely don't have the opportunity to swoop in and, and take Carrie's deals from him when he's the one paying. So if you'd like to work with my team one-on-one -on -one like Carrie is, go to HoltonWise.com, click the property search tab, click on the MLS search and now it's just show and pick up a package. I highly recommend the package Carrie got, which is the 10 property package for under two thousand dollars we are running this sale during the entire coronavirus pandemic so if you see me sitting in my home office folks you have the opportunity to get this sale once we're back in the whole lives tv studio and uh the rest of the world isn't slowed down and people aren't thinking about coronavirus anymore those prices are going back up to normal so i highly suggest you guys pick these packages up now and you might be someone who's not even ready to buy yet man maybe you're you're like six months out uh, from being able to start investing, but you know you want to invest. Well, pick the package up now. You don't have to use them now. There's no time limit on these, man. I will do 10 properties for you and we bank them, right? So if you're six months out, eight months out, a year out, two years out, just pick up the package while it's cheap now and just save that. And then when you're ready, when you see something that makes sense, like, you know, Carrie saw this 103rd property. He's like, dude, I need James's take. Send it to me a few days later. Boom, I got the video to him, right? Uh, so, get, you know, strike while the iron is hot, y'all. So that's that. That's how you can work with me like Carrie did. Again, Carrie, let my, uh, my folks know and reply to this email what you want to do. I, I think we should uh, try to take both these down. As far as opening bids, we're probably going to want to go one to 2000 below my target price. And uh, then we're going to see what we can get them for. If you have to pay a little bit more than my target price, it doesn't mean the deals are bad. I just think my target price is, is, the, is the premium price, man. That's what we really want to get. But if we're a couple grand above it, uh, you know, no big deal, right? One more thing, guys. I want you to also click on this property search for sale tab. And instead of clicking the MLS search analysis show, I want you to click this investment properties for sale show. This is another popular show we run here. If you want to work with our team one-on-one, -on -one, but you're not ready to actually make a purchase yet, you click on this, you can watch these shows. These are the shows that we are selling properties on, okay? And we will actually email these to you every single day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you click the little envelope icon on our website to subscribe to our mailing list so you get those. Every day at 1 o'clock, we send those out to you, and they include video tours of these properties. So you get a whole robust breakdown and uh, instead of having to work with us and, and get a package, we're not going to go out and find you deals, but we will fill your bids on these particular properties. So just if you're an investor, you don't really need that uh, handholding. You're just ready to go and you just want to browse our inventory. This is the show you need to be watching. You definitely need to make sure you're subscribed to the mailing list so it comes to you every day. And just as soon as you get those emails, boom, you just go ahead and submit your bid. Just reply with how much money you want to pay, what your contingencies are. Make sure you have your proof of funds. So, you know, two options for you guys based upon your needs. Uh, one thing, though, to note with the investment properties for sale show is anytime you bid on those properties, know you're going up against multiple bidders. We are the number one seller of rental properties in the Cleveland market for various obvious reasons, right? There is nobody else in the world who is running a transparent, efficient operation quite like Holton Weiss TV. That's why turnkey providers from other markets like 
Indianapolis, Kansas City, Memphis, you know, these folks are coming to Holton Wise TV and they're advertising their, their properties and their services on our show because this is unlike anything anyone has ever seen. So if you're bidding on our properties, no, you're going to need to be aggressive because you're going up against other folks. But if you'd like to take advantage of properties that are not being properly marketed in this efficient way, the way you want to go is the way my dude Carrie went, and that is the MLS Search and Analysis Show. But that's all I've got for you guys. Enough out of me. Stay safe out there during this coronavirus thing, folks. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact, combined with the high price-to-rent ratio, is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee, as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you'll also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.